Never have we seen the world come together in agreement that there is need for changes in the way we do business and in particular investments. No doubt COVID-19 pandemic has opened our eyes and our hearts to collectively consider the way we care for one another as humanity. Secondly, the way we utilize natural capital the way we lead, govern, and decide on policies and actions. Conversations around the world indicate that we are in a global governance crisis, ranging from climate change, vaccine nationalism, long-standing problems of uh, racism and xenophobia, human rights abuses against vulnerable people, women, children, and youth, migrant workers, and so forth. Human dignity has definitely deteriorated. Humanity is now being reminded that we are one. We, are, we all belong and we must be treated with dignity and justice. We are one with the planet, as well as our rights and responsibilities to gain prosperity in a non-discriminatory manner with fairness, transparency and accountability, leaving no one behind and in a manner that is sustainable. This is the objective of good governance, being good for the sake of the other. The rise of ESG is from this collective thought process. Therefore, Corporate governance and ESG have a symbiotic relationship, each adding value to the other. At CGI Global, our mission is to promote good governance internationally through explanation, education and advocacy. We believe that governance professionals and accountants, such as are represented at the Africa Congress of Accountants, 2021 are the sons and daughters with the responsibility that good governance cascades to all levels on the continent. Africa's vision 2030 for an inclusive and sustainable economic transformation that includes the continental free trade area, industrialization, infrastructure development, digitalization and so forth can only be profitable when the professionals stand up and take it and make a difference. Accountants on the continent are being challenged to simplify standards and practices so as to reach the micro levels of our economies. Our SMEs, our artisanal miners, our farmers, our fishermen, most of whom are located in rural parts of the continent. These are our economic players, yet they are the ones that are also utilizing natural capital in production. So, how can professionals on the continent collaborate more for the sake of good governance? I look forward to an engaging Congress in Maputo. I thank you.